Hiram Rhodes Revels. Born, September 27, 1827 Fayetteville, North Carolina. Died, January 16, 1901 Aberdeen, Mississippi. Spouse, Phoebe Bass. Party affiliation, Republican Party, United States. Hiram Revels was a minister in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Served in the Union Army in the Chaplain Corps. Led two regiments of troops. February 25, 1870, Hiram Revels became the first person of African ancestry to be seated as a United States Senator. Everyone in the gallery stood to see him sworn in, but it was not an easy journey. Although the Declaration of Independence boldly pronounced that, all men are created equal, that was not true for persons of African ancestry. This was 1870 and the Supreme Court's 1850 decision, just decades prior, stated that persons of African ancestry were not and could not be considered citizens. The Southern Democrats made this a principal part of their argument to prevent rebels from being seated when he was sent to Washington, D.C. to fill the seat left vacant by Albert G. Brown since 1861. In those days, the U.S. Senator was elected by the state legislature. Revels was elected 81 to 15 to finish the Senate term vacated by Albert Brown. To become a U.S. Senator, one had to be a citizen of the United States for nine years. And even though Revels had been a registered voter in Ohio for many years, the 14th Amendment in 1868 was seen as the official ruling that had officially allowed persons of African ancestry to be considered as citizens. That would mean that Revels had only been a citizen for two years and thus not qualified to be seated. The counter-arguments were that Revels was primarily of European descent and Dred Scott should only apply to persons full African ancestry. It was also argued that the Civil War and Reconstruction Amendments had voided the Dred Scott rule. U.S. Senator Charles Sumner, a Republican, said, The time has passed for argument. Nothing more need be said. For a long time it has been clear that colored persons must be senators. With that, Revels became the first African American to be seated in the U.S. Senate on February 25, 1870 elected 48 Republicans to eight Democrats along party lines. He served for just under 13 months. Was replaced by James Alcorn, a Confederate Army general. After his time in the Senate, he became a college president. First president of Alcorn Agricultural and Mechanical College, now Alcorn State University. Subscribe for more information like this press like to help others find this information.